write and perform an American slam poem. Eight simple rules. Rule number one, make sure you set your political agenda right off the bat. It's important that the audience knows how hip and liberal you are. Take me. Sure, anybody can write an anti-racism piece or one that supports gay or women's rights, but do note, I am very, very vehemently pro Muppet, which brings us to rule number two, throw in gratuitous pop culture references. You know, like my man Quentin Tarantino, the way he did it in Pulp Fiction, having characters talk about McDonald's and Fonzie. Hey, Psst, that's a 70s thing, kids. Rule number three, do not be subtle. Never be subtle. <laughs> Always be obvious and direct. Avoid all metaphor, irony, and underlying implication. Don't be subtle! Never, ever be subtle. Subtlety bad. <laughs> Rule number four. Be very loud and in your face! Pummel the audience with all your energy and presence! Attack every word you say with the same level of emotion and intensity, regardless of whether the content justifies it. It doesn't matter if you're talking about social injustice, or past heartbreak, or a cow. Give all of it the same vocal emphasis. <laughs> Rule number five, it's always time for a rhyme. Because rhyme is sublime and it ain't no crime. Don't even cost a dime and it's better than mine, though it's an uphill climb. From the grime and the slime to reach your full prime, be the master of rhymes, just like Frank Grimes. And if you run out of rhymes, just speak really, really fast. Because the faster you go, the less you'll hear what you're saying. But the thing is, how it's cool, the thing is, it's quite smart, really fast. You never wait to do it. It's worth a shot if you're out of breath. That's when you distract them with a song. <laughs> <laughs> Rule number six never be subtle. I can't stress that one enough. Don't be subtle. Rule number seven. <laughs> Guys. This is very important if you want to get laid. Find a way to manipulate the audience's emotions. Coldly calculate your content and delivery to bring the crowd to tears. Make sure the ladies see that underneath your nondescript exterior is a sweet, sensitive, yet strong man who would give anything to love and be loved by that special someone. If only you could find her. <laughs> and leave everybody with a message of hope. Hope is very important. That is a lesson I learned from a dying little boy I once shared a hospital ward with. You know, despite everything, he just kept on smiling and laughing. God, what a little trooper. And finally, rule number eight. Tell the audience exactly what they want to hear. Because you know what? You, the audience, are worth it! You're all street smart, sophisticated people who know exactly what I'm talking about. And sure, there are a lot of problems in society today, but you have the power to end them all through poetry competition. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that everything will work out fine if you just believe in yourself and cling to hope. Peace out, man. Thank you. <laughs>